Hey, welcome to the Truth Bloom Fire. Uh, Steve Gibson here, and I just wanted to give you kind of a brief uh, tour and overview of uh, the layout and the features. It's fairly simple, but uh, yet there are a couple things that uh, really need to be pointed out. So in addition, uh, of course, I want to thank you for being here and supporting the Truth Driven Mission and podcast and the content we produce uh, by way of your membership here. But Hopefully this is, uh, we're very excited about this and glad you'll participate in what uh, what could be a really exciting project here. So uh, this is obviously the home screen here. The first and probably more important thing I want to tell you about initially um, is that for any post, and you'll see these are featured posts up here, which I'll talk about in a second, but let's, uh, let's click on a post. We'll click on Free Will here with Tom Clark, which was a, a podcast interview about an hour long. Um, I posted that even though Tom's here also. Um, notice there's a box where you can follow or unfollow me. And it's important uh, not just for me and, and I guess in the sense that uh, I'll be posting a number of both bonus material and podcast interviews uh, with subject matter experts. So follow me certainly, but make a point to be sure, especially at this early stage, um, that you're following our other contributors because because of the simple uh, design here, it can be fairly easy when something ages out of the featured or the popular or recent um, post categories to miss something good. So just follow uh, and that way you'll be notified of major learning content or podcasts or fun stuff that gets posted. Now let's talk about posts. Uh, what I'm calling posts in general we could say are learning modules, we could call them uh, kind of the meteor uh, content which might be a lecture, it might be as I say a, a podcast interview with a subject matter expert, it could be a webcam post that you make uh, kind of sharing your experiences um, that you think might be useful to the group. So these posts uh, I can I can make them featured like the member perks here uh, we're looking at free will or uh, truth driven thinking number 86 we can uh, take uh, this tour, which will be posted up here. Here, um, and a post can also reappear, however, down here. So these major, major uh, content pieces are ranked by popularity here. So you see the top three current popular links, and you see the most three or the most recent three activities in general. So those are posts, but you need to understand probably the biggest key point that there are two kinds of content on this site. One is the learning modules or the posts, and one is questions and answers. So you can ask a question of the community. Uh, these are down on the right side of the screen. So posts are at the top and show up on the left as well. Questions and related answers are hyper hyperlink text on the right side of the screen as you can see here and again they're ranked by popular or in this case it's called frequently asked and by recently asked. Please note that you can always view all popular questions, all recently asked questions or, or categorized by recent by chronology and same thing with the posts and this is a great way to also make sure you don't miss anything is to check the uh, just go ahead and click on recent posts or recent activity and then you can see a long list uh, of what has recently been here so that you can see if there's anything that uh, has been updated. So a couple of differences we we've talked about now uh, questions and answers which are down here versus main learning elements or lecture or interviews or content or your experience in life up here uh, if you look at one difference between questions and answers and these main posts, like again, I'll use this uh, Tom Clark example, you can comment on posts, but they are just text comments and they are in chronological order, so the most recent texts or posts are near the bottom. But if we go back and look at one of the answers, uh, questions and answers, Let's look at um, just a recent one. You'll see that there's a question that here I posed with some background, and then people posted answers. Uh, strangely, and, and this is just the way it worked out in the technology, this is reverse chronologically. So the most recent answer shows up 
uh, at the top. The older ones are down here. But unlike the simple text posts, you'll see sometimes people answer with webcams or videos or PDFs or uh, you can answer these questions which are usually unrelated, at least not directly related to the learning elements, but these are general things that we want to share and exchange. You can answer these by video or in this case by text, but um, also notice something that is not the case with posts, only with question and answers, is you can comment individually on an answer. Say someone answers, but there's kind of a little sub exchange going here on Mr. Matt Dick's um, answer to my question. So the real question was up here, but now there's a little mini exchange going um, about his answer to the question. So that might be a little confusing. That's one different difference between posts and question and an questions and answers. Um, that pretty much covers it though. One other way to look at content is by category. I thought I'd point that out down here. And as these grow and expand, that'll be an interesting way to maybe find things relevant to what you're looking for. And of course, you can always search the content and the lessons or the interviews or the fun stuff uh, just by key terms uh, up in the search box. So that generally um, is the overview that I wanted to give you. Again, many thanks for being here. Check the all recent and be sure to follow people, uh, content contributors as we go. And hopefully we'll develop this kind of indexed library of not only interesting topics, but attached to those resources and dialogue that you help uh, create uh, so that future people can enjoy hearing your question and uh, questions that they would like to ask themselves had they been able to at the time. Um, and it'll all be searchable and indexable. And uh, I, I guess I will just add that I mentioned resources. Um, here's a... It, uh, post by Tom Clark and keep an eye here for related materials uh, substantiating or supporting documents and or links to other stuff here or elsewhere that might be related so that's it from the truth bloom fire thanks again for your support your uh, your eight dollars and fifty cents really will help us out to cover costs not only of this technology and platform uh, but to keep doing the podcast and presenting a free inquiry and open, intellectually honest, uh, hopefully examples uh, for many people who are at various stages of their own journey in search of ever elusive truth. So thanks much for being here and we'll talk to you soon.